I just found out about an hour ago that my main eBay account is broken. You saw the title right, my eBay account is broken. So on the other side of the intro, I'm gonna to talk to you about it. So without any further ado, let's go. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning into this video. My name is John from Flippin' Ain't Easy. And for those of you who have never watched my videos before, that's like 75% of you watching this video right now. I am a full-time eBay, Amazon, Mercari, Poshmark reseller. I primarily sell on eBay, however, and I make these videos to share my experiences on eBay and to help other resellers, most likely like yourself, resell and maybe not fall into the same pitfalls that I do. I like to report things that I encounter with eBay and to pass it on to you as well because I realize that a lot of you out there, you know, maybe doing a full-time job, doing eBay part-time and just don't have the kind of time to research and look into these issues that I somehow stumble across quite often. So thank you for tuning in to the channel. And before I begin, please do me a favor, hit the like button that really helps the video get a boost in search. It lets other people know who I am and uh, it helps grow the channel. While you're at it, hit that subscribe button if this is the, the type of content that you like to, to watch. And if you are already subscribed to the channel, please do me a favor, hit that notification bell icon so you can be notified when I make live videos like I plan on doing on Sunday and uh, when I make a new video so that you're the first to see it. Sometimes, every so often, I'll uh, come out with some information that you need to know about and by hitting that notification bell, you will be notified and informed that I've made a new video. So let's get started. My account is corrupted, broken. Um, I can't say it's trash because the rep told me today, the managed payments rep that I spoke to said, I have a good account, but they cannot figure out what is going on. Now, from any of you that have watched my videos since September, which is maybe not many of you, but you can go back and, and look at the video here that I'm gonna uh, post. And it sort of discusses what I dealt with uh, back in September when I thought my account was broken. I had virtually no, no views or um, my impressions were just gone. And that went on for about two days. <sighs> Contacted eBay and they were able to fix it. Uh, they had to escalate it to somebody uh, in IT and they did some kind of a, a refresh, not the one that uh, you do on your own, you know, you select all your items and the refresh sort of refreshes your store and people like to do that every day. No, this is one that nobody knows about, just sort of the more specialized reps and it's done to sort of recatalog your store and to fix any issues or corruptedness that your store is encountering. Well, I can tell you that they may have done that back in September, but my store is still corrupt. And the reason why I know that is because I've encountered, and I think in the last video we talked about, I encountered the fact that in my managed payments pending or on hold funds, it shows a refund that's still on hold in my account from June 8th of 2020. Move over to uh, the available funds portion of that summary and at the very bottom I have three transactions that are in there with a negative balance from April and May of 2020. And so the rep, now you can always tell when you deal with a rep at eBay whether or not they're new or experienced or kind of know what they're talking about. So this rep, I'm not gonna give you her name, but she was very experienced. I can tell that uh, she had some background and she even told me that she sold 
on eBay. Those are the best reps to get on the phone because when a rep tells you that they sell or have sold on the platform, that means that they too are familiar with the processes, not just because it's their job, it's because they do it on their own on the side. So she was very receptive, she was very proactive to what I was talking about, but she told me she's never seen anything like this and she had to send an email for me to someone in IT to try to fix these problems. And even sort of by her own admission, and basically I think what they told her in the correspondence she had with whoever that was in that department, that my store is broken or corrupted. And my question was, well, when does it end? You know, because we did this back in September and now we're revisiting this issue again. When does this end? She wasn't able to answer that question Hopefully she gets me in touch with someone that is able to resolve these issues because I can't spend hours upon hours trying to resolve random issues that I stumble across. The secondary issue that she was helping me with and she sort of hinted at maybe it also has to do with my broken store issue is the whole FedEx labeling thing and how I received a, an email message. I'm not sure if any of you received an email message on the 25th of February. Uh, I received it about 10 a.m. Pacific time stating that I have a credit or credits due that will be processed to my account and it never happened. So she confirmed that it never happened and they're now saying it's going to be after this billing cycle. So. That would be what for me the 16th is the new billing cycle, 16th of March. So hopefully we're getting some credits and I calculated at least uh, $300 worth of outstanding FedEx labels that I was overcharged on. And I think I reported about $200 of it because that was back in January I reported it. I didn't think it was gonna go anywhere. And reporting it to just some random rep in Manila or wherever they're at, it hasn't shown me any, I haven't seen any fruits from that. You know, I send uh, them over about, I sent them over like 15 different labels that I was overcharged on. And you expect within about a month to, to receive some kind of correspondence, but nothing. And see what happens is eBay sends that over to FedEx. FedEx probably says, hey, we build it correctly and you, you never hear about it again. And of course, I did a video right here on the whole FedEx issue. So if you want to take a look at that video and it'll tell you all about, uh, for many of you between October, could have been before that, but from my experience, it was October of 2020 until at least the end of January where eBay sellers were unknowingly for specific or certain FedEx shipments were being overcharged for the labels that eBay was quoting one price, FedEx after delivering it would bill eBay sometimes two to three times what you were initially quoted by eBay when you're sending out your label. So one thing you wanna do after this video, check out that video I, I was just uh, pointing to and see if that applies to you, reach out to eBay. I am hopeful that here within the next couple weeks, many of you, including myself, will receive a credit on our account for the amounts that we were overcharged. You know, don't, don't uh, hold me to it because I'm only relaying to you what eBay has, tell, has been telling me. And maybe, you know, they're just kind of kicking the can, but I think this rep was a little bit more uh, believable than the, the ones before, like the ones that continually promised me a callback. And when you call them on it, the reps say, well, I always follow through when I promise a callback. Well, Robert at eBay, let me tell you something. This is the first time where you failed because you were supposed to have called me back on Wednesday. We spoke on the phone on Monday and I'm still waiting for your callback. So guys, you just never know when you're dealing with a good rep or not but usually about five to 10 minutes into that conversation, just by the way the, the agent or rep conducts themselves, 
They will tell you everything you need to know, whether they are going to be reliable. And I'm certain the rep that I spoke to tonight is going to be just that. She also sent an email on the uh, FedEx issue for me to someone else, instead of bundling it together and having the second issue get lost in the shuffle. So I will update you guys with this issue here very soon. Anybody else out there have problems or issues with your account? And I'm not talking about, you know, I didn't receive my managed payments deposit, I've been waiting two weeks. That's horrible and it shouldn't happen, but I'm talking more about things like that shouldn't be there. You know, if you look at your on hold funds, you look at your available funds, are there old transactions that just shouldn't be there? Have you come across anything since switching to managed payments that make you think that something is just not right? In fact, some reps at uh, managed payments seem to think that I switched over back to from PayPal to managed payments back in August of 2020. I switched over back in September of 2019. So for anyone not to know that really worries me. And I told the rep, I said, look, there's a lot of sellers like myself that are very apprehensive about this whole managed payments stuff that we have to deal with. It's not something that we now have a choice to deal with. We're stuck with managed payments. And when we come across transactions, now you say that these little you know, transactions I'm coming across from last year that are still in my on holds and available funds, it's just sort of there and it doesn't hurt anything. But from someone who's looking at it, I don't trust it. I don't trust the process. I see too many things. I hear from you guys, all these things that are going on with managed payments. And when you see something that shouldn't be there, well, how do I know? And we, we constantly get updates that eBay is you know, glitching here, glitching there. Like we touched in the last video, a lot of you guys were actually reporting that you were putting listings up and they're vanishing. You weren't able to see the, the listings that you were creating. And, and I noticed that uh, last night when I made some, some listings or created some listings that I wanted to go in and maybe alter something in the listing and I couldn't find it. I could not find my listings. It was like a 10 to 15 minute delay before I was able to find a newly created listing in my, uh, my available listings. So anybody else have that going on? Because that's a problem. You know, if we maybe make a mistake and realize that, uh, you know, I wanna put it in this bin or I wanna put it over here or we wanna change the SKU or whatever we wanna do and we've already submitted that listing and we just can't find it, you know, for 10 to 15 minutes, that's a problem because I don't want my customer finding it before me because maybe I made a, a mistake in the listing and I'd rather catch it before my customer does and buys it and maybe something's wrong and now I'm opening myself up with a whole different problem, returns, negative feedback, and all that stuff. So just a quick video today, wanted to tell you about my broken store. Uh, the plan is to get it fixed. I uh, have been making a lot of sales this last week, have been tremendous, which is why I had meant to uh, put out a video this morning, but just it's just been so busy. And uh, you know, we plan on doing a live stream on Sunday, I'm gonna shoot for 12 noon. That's that's 12 noon Pacific time uh, this Sunday. And that is 3 p.m. Eastern time for those of you out on the, on the East Coast. Please tune in. You know, last live stream was, was, very, uh, was very fun. A lot of uh, good questions were asked and it just makes my job a lot easier when uh, I'm not relying on my own information because sometimes when we prep for these live streams, we only have so much information and to make it uh, at least an hour, so in this last one we had an hour and a half, to make these live streams last that long, we really need your participation and hopefully you can make time out of your day. I'd be honored if you all would just show up, ask me some questions, Let's have a conversation about anything you want to chat about, eBay or reselling related. So that's what I have for you today. Again, hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Do me a favor, keep listing, keep making those sales, 
and just know that flipping ain't easy and I'm going to see you guys on Sunday on the live stream. Have a great weekend.